Hi, I'm Knorr, and I am no longer as sick as I've been the last few days, even though my voice sounds kind of weird. <coughs> oh, dear. Um, this is the regular funny form update. After week four, probably? Hopefully? Uh, we did get some level ups. Holy shit. I'm sorry about my voice, but you'll have to do. Um, unfortunately, none of our vampires leveled up. Jenny Flounders did get a touchdown, but she only has three SPP, so no up no level ups for her and we're looking i don't like the way Gen uh, jenny Giroffalo and super kittens both only have six spp it's there it, it takes a while to get up to to get 10 more uh and now we have jenny flounders to compete with that so if i'd wanted to be smart i probably shouldn't have gotten the fourth vampire already but uh shit happens also this is funnier i guess <clears throat> More importantly, two of my thralls uh, managed to level up, which um, was a shame in a way. Dove Ch Chappelle even managed to get as much as 10 SPP, so uh, he might get another level up at some point. Uh, but first, let's see what they actually rolled. Dove Chappelle rolled a normals, uh, and so did Sack Gesellifinakis. Huh, okay, so <clears throat> I know I want one of them to have kick because kick is really good to for controlling Where the ball lands and since my players aren't very fast But they do have hypnotic gaze So if I'm lucky and get a blitz Maybe I can hypno gaze someone and run in and pick up the ball which would be excellent So we're gonna grab that on sack guess if he can get it Let's See yeah, they can only get general skills uh, and we do have a kick here, so we're gonna give him that. The reason we're giving him kick rather than uh, Dub Chappelle is that he has slightly less SPP, meaning it probably, if one of them's gonna level up again, it's probably gonna be Dave, uh, Dub Chappelle. And on a kick player, I don't want him on the line, but I also don't really want him to have more skills because if they have kick, they need to be uh, positioned in a certain way, and having kick and something else. Uh, it just means that the something else isn't going to be as good because if I had kick block I could have had block fend instead which would have been you know better um, So uh, but we'll see Dove Chappelle This is a bit tricky now. There are a lot of skills here. that are kind of cool for um, For a thrall actually mostly we've got wrestle we have fend and we have block <clears throat> Dirty player, uh, I don't Since he's so cheap Dirty player is good in a sense, but I don't really want to risk my Players get sent off for anything other than my vamps biting them. I want to keep them around which is why Fend is pretty good on thralls um, uh, Because Fend means you if you get pushed back uh, the other player can't follow up and that usually means maybe you'll get someone free that can run away on the on your turn uh, but that's for me. That's a secondary skill. I want something safer first. So we're gonna go with wrestle here uh, The reason we're not going with block is the same reason if I get block That's well, it's good because that keeps the thrall standing, but that also means that if there are two Players standing next to a thrall both can both get a shot at blocking him with wrestle I can place him on the ground uh, and he'll be safe and basically, I just need him on the pitch uh, to make sure that the vamps can bite him. I don't really need much else. Uh, it's not a very aggressive skill. Uh, if I wanted him to level up uh, quicker by getting casualties, I would have given him block. But like I mentioned a few times, I really don't want the thralls to get too many skills because they're mostly there to be fed upon. So having a low amount of skills is actually good for me because if I'm gonna bite someone I don't want that with that bite to risk um, sending say a hundred uh, team of team value just off the pitch um, I also don't want to be in a position where I'm like oh I could bite this guy but he has really good skills or I could run over here and bite this guy but that might mean say a dodge or something I have to get a dice roll to get over there and now I'm suddenly have to go on a risk reward between our thralls and I don't want to have to deal with that I want the vampires to be superstars and the thralls to be a bit shit basically 
Okay, so that <laughs> that's everything. Now, we have a really high team value here. We have 1330. And... If we go look at TB's team, because we're playing him next, if I remember correctly. He has 1160. Now, 1330, yeah, uh, that means he has... Oh, math on video. 170, I think. Yes. 170. That means he can get a wizard if he wants. He's probably going to get a bunch of bribes. Uh, since goblins get bribes for 50. I could, I could kick a thrall <clears throat> to get down to, let's have a look. Oh, I want to, I want to see myself. Here we go. I could kick a thrall and that would bring us down to 1290, which should stop him from either getting a wizard or, well, three bribes, he can still get two. Um, but the question is, uh, I don't really... I don't really dare to kick any thralls. Remember what happened in the last game against Krendor? At the end of the half, we were out of rerolls. And we weren't out of thralls, but that's because I like I had bitten a few because I didn't want to waste my rerolls. <clears throat> the absolutely like safest option is probably to kick a thrall. Honestly. And lower the amount of inducements. But I mean I I don't I don't really want to do that. It's a, it's a shame, like because it's not even much money. Uh, no, no, I'm not gonna kick a thrall. And uh, next week I'm gonna be like, fuck, I should have kicked a thrall. But until then, mostly I, I I can't pick I can't pick a shitty name here. They're all amazing. Uh, but yeah, so I guess we'll have to leave it like this. I've been Knur and this is the funny farm and all of that. And I'm gonna, you know, try and fix my voice up. See you soon. Bye, bye, bye.